Hello and good morning. Hi guys, welcome back. If you are new here, you are living with me. I am If you are new here, I am Leash and you're living with me and this bad guy. Today I'm going to go over Guys, this week I'm bringing to you a recipe of which I found off Pinterest to see if that one will work in the air fryer. I am really testing out some healthy recipes and making them work in the air fryer so everything that you see or you might be scrolling through on social media and you wonder oh i wonder if that works in the air fryer don't worry i got you covered for these next two videos um so i'm really excited to bring you next week's video as well if you missed out on last week's i'll leave a little link above it was really fun really funny i hope you do like it if you do enjoy these videos give it a like give it a subscribe it really does support my channel I love creating these kinds of transformational videos, but also the ones that include my favorite appliance. So if you are new here and you enjoy air fryer recipes and all the good stuff, I will be providing. So make sure you're watching and uh, enjoy this Pinterest recipe. So we are back for, oh, let's start that again. Let's get comfortable. Ugh. So we are back for recipe number two for the air fryer today. This one's coming straight out of Pinterest. I have absolutely no idea if it's gonna work, but I saw a protein brownie single serve recipe that I'm going to try and recreate in the air fryer. On Pinterest, it wasn't in an air fryer, but I have hope and faith that we can make this work. Ingredients are really simple, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. I have no idea how these things are gonna create a brownie, but I'm just gonna roll with it and see how we go. So um, I'm guessing applesauce is the binding agent. That's why that one's there. So we're gonna start off once again with the 50 grams of banana. It's gonna match that once again. And to the banana, I'm going to add 20 grams of applesauce. just about that much. That was 25, but YOLO guys, YOLO. I haven't had applesauce in forever. Mm. Deliciousness. So I'm just gonna quickly stir that together. I have no idea this gonna work. And in here, we have 15 grams of cocoa, 10 grams of my protein, and about 10 grams, I think, of natural stevia. Um, so I'm just gonna pop that one in as well. Dangerous. P.S. Cocoa is really hard to weigh. Doesn't register, which is not fun. Please work, please work, please work. I think you're supposed to use like a proper like mixing bowl, but this works just fun. Hey guys, this looks really good and it smells good. I don't know if that's gonna be sweet enough, so we'll see. I wasn't sure what container to put it in because I didn't know how much mixture it would make. <laughs> it looks good. 
Okay, so it looks pretty small. I'm going to use this. And I'm going to spray it as well. Because nobody likes stuff brownie. I think that's nice. And brownie like. Oh, it looks so good. Just, I just want to lick my fingers. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, no. Gotta get every last bit of the brownie into the bowl or whatever you want to call that. Fun fact this is under 200 calories. How exciting. Right. Just patting that all down into my little single serve brownie mix. Now the recipe also called for some dark chocolate pieces. So I've got some old gold cherry ripe, just two pieces to place on top we doesn't even need that much and then we're going to pop that into the air fryer so i'm going to go ahead and leave the timing and temperature on the screen and i'll show you what it looks like after it comes out of the air fryer. The air fryer just went off. It is the best sound in the world. This time I wanted to get my genuine first reaction on camera because I haven't tried this recipe before. Where is it? Okay, I can get behind this, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna... I think you have to let it cool, obviously, to be cooled. It actually looks pretty good. I don't know, maybe a little bit burnt there, but I'm surprised the chocolate didn't melt. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool for a bit and then we'll taste test. I'm not gonna have the patience. Now it'll be easier to cool. She's a little flat. Taste test. Let's see. <laughs> Gems background music. I mean, for 220 calories, this is pretty good. Mmm. Jam, do you want to come try it? It's still hot, but I'll get you a gooey bit. It smells good. It's hot. Okay. Blow on it. Is the chocolate on top? Yeah. Mmm. 
It tastes like brownie. <laughs> it tastes like brownie. <laughs> I think we have a winner. It's um very mushy. That's because it's made out of banana or applesauce. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I like it. <laughs> um, the next recipe will come as a dessert recipe. So it'll be a bit later on. So I'll probably look like a mess. And I'll probably all, be all sweet truth out by then as well. But I just gotta do it for the YouTube. Comment below what recipes you'd like to see me test on my channel for future videos. Hit me up on the Instagram. Has anyone ever waited for a brownie to actually be cool before they eat it? I would like to know that answer. Well, Pinterest is definitely winning over TikTok so far. So, that's a win. I'll see you guys in the next recipe. Thank you.